Hey everybody, what are we here for? Well, we're obviously here because there's an audiobook review set in the title and you might be slightly interested in how the uh, the title is and uh, how the series is. So here we go, uh, no spoilers, and uh, see what I might think. Okay, so uh, the series, as you saw, is uh, in this case the Traveler's Gate trilogy. Uh, there's three books. Uh, I don't know if it's so far or if the uh, author might be working on some more, but um, it's by Will White. And the first story is called The House of Blades. Now, um, why I'm going through this is because, well, I, I listened to the, uh, the trilogy, and uh, you know, it is really interesting. Um, I, I like the way that the author did magic here. Um, of course, it's a fantasy series. Um, it's kind of medieval uh, in general, and um, there's the, the way that he does magic is that there are uh, travelers uh, basically. In order for people to be able to use magic, uh, they open gates to to other territories, other realms, and when uh, people have the ability to do that, they go to these other places and they gain different abilities, different spells, different, um, you know, uh, strengths in their body so that they can do what they need to do as magic people. And uh, when they go to these places, you know, they meet different, uh, different avatars, different creatures of these places, and uh, they're able to figure things out through them. Their, their bodies are tempered to the different magic types that they are, and they're able to do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. I thought it was really interesting. It wasn't just the same, you know, learn a spell and you get to cast a spell. And when you're done with uh, casting all the spells that you can, you've got these magic points and you've got the different times that you can cast it, you know, per day or week or whatever. Now, this is pretty different. Um, uh, but uh, what I was uh, hoping for was a few consequences. Um, and uh, I, I was not able to see a whole lot of that. Um, through, the, uh, through the story, um, I mean, again, there, it was really interesting the way that the author did it. And um, they, there's, you know, of course, there's good guys and bad guys. The good guys need to, uh, to gain some power uh, because something nasty is happening, of course, right? So um, there's... Uh, some some boundaries that they push uh, within themselves and whatnot and then uh, they they push those boundaries and they're able to do what they need to do and then there's no consequences in those boundaries they're told uh, through the story or before they gain such power or whatever uh, before they work for such power that they need to uh, to be weary of, of the power that gets used and then they go out of bounds with it and they uh, they go off the wall they do everything possible to possibly breach and break through the uh, possible boundaries uh, to ruin their body and spirit and and you know just half halfway possibly destroy the world and whatnot and then nothing extra happens um, there's a slight paragraph of them resting of you know them basically relaxing from the overuse of that power and then they get right back to it and they use the power again and it r makes them weary and it makes them really weak and then in um in half a paragraph they're ready to go again after after either different bad guys or whatever else the, the case is there um in, in my writing I, I hope to uh, to write a few consequences and with the uh the stories and um, that's that's what I usually do, uh, and you know it's it's followed throughout later on too. So uh, so I like to keep uh, you know um, consequences and uh, continuity uh, in the story. So it's not just hey uh, good guys win and then they rest a little bit and then they win again, rest a little bit, win again. And I just think there should be a little bit more randomness to it, so just like regular uh, you know gaming and stuff. So uh, that's the way I feel. Um, the the story set was still actually really good. Uh, the the characters were you know really well described. All the scenery is is very well uh, done, and the action scenes are are not you know jumped into where this guy fights this guy and we're done. There's there's plenty of descriptions. There's plenty of you know round by round bits, and you know this guy's jumping after this guy, and this guy gets out of the way, and you know all, all that good stuff. So it's it's you know really well written. Uh, other than like I said, um, the continuity is a little off, and the consequences just aren't there. Um, but fun stuff, fun fantasy, 
And um, if you disagree or agree, um, I'd like to hear from you. Send me a message through social media or you know post down below as per usual. And uh, I would hope that uh, if you'd be slightly interested, uh, you know, subscribe, check out the video, do the, uh, the thumbs up and whatnot, and uh, check out some of my other stuff. Check out my audiobook too. I, I wrote an audiobook. It's in the channel. And uh, check it out. I'd like to hear what you think.